Hi, Colin. This is Alan Cocker with ABC, former hitting coach for the Colorado Rockies and the Seattle Mariners. I'm going to take a look at your video and get into some um, analysis here. Uh, one of the first things I look for, Zach, is that is that we're uh, underbalanced. Uh, we're up all the way through the process to the load and then the actual swing. But the best thing for me in, in staying underbalanced is I need to keep my knees inside my feet and I need to keep my head inside my knees. If at ever at any time throughout this entire process do our knees get outside of our feet or our head outside of our knees, it's, it's going to really, really affect our swing path uh, to the baseball. So uh, as you can see here, you're in a good position. You got nice um, at a good 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock position to find the pitch. So uh, all this looks good. We're going to run forward to the load phase. Okay, the load is basically it's a gather of energy right in here to the inside part of my back leg. All right, this is um, this is uh, preparing to to drive into my front leg. Okay, so I want to feel all of this weight on the inside part of that back leg. And you can see here you're in a good position. Your knee hasn't gone outside your back foot, so should be in a good solid position. Um, to, um, to, to get your energy and, and all, your, all your energy to the inside part of that back leg. We're going to run forward. Uh, most hitters, uh, and yourself included, will, will land toe first. Okay? It is not until this heel right back here fully plants into the ground am I loaded. Okay? So we're going to run it forward. Now when the heel plants, now we're loaded and we're ready to make a first move into the baseball. All right. Before we do that, one of the other things that I always check is I want to make sure that my hitters aren't open up too soon. Okay, so we'll draw a line here on your side foot, and I want to try to keep this stride foot no more open than 45 degrees. You can see you're at 63. When we start to get open more than 45, it's going to be difficult for me to keep my hips square to home plate. All right, this first move, generally, this hip is going to start to leak open, and when that leak o that from here leaves open, then generally my swing is to go in the direction to the pull side. It makes it very difficult to handle pitches that are away from us, uh, outer half, outer third, uh, breaking balls from, from right-handed pitchers and change-ups from left-handed pitchers. So the one thing that I would ask you to try to do is, is, is try to get this stride foot right here. We're going to try to get it more um, closed up in this area, more at a 45-degree angle as opposed to, to having it as open as we do right here. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the first move into the ball. First move is generated with the back knee. As you can see here, you're making a good, strong first move. Remember the energy that I had inside the back leg right here? I'm now going to transfer this energy into the inside part of the front leg. Okay, right there. It's important to note that this needs to be inside that foot, which is where you are. We're in a good position there. Looks like you got a good transfer of, uh, of weight, a good weight shift into that front side going right here. The next thing that we look for is we want to try to get a connection. Once I start to get momentum going or weight shift going into my front side, I've now got to get my hands in front of my body in order to make good side contact and hit through the ball. So the first move with the upper half or the hands is going to be the elbow, and it's going to drop into this lot right in here, right into the rib cage and right into uh, my back hip area. Okay, so we're going to run forward. Okay, good, good lower, uh, good first move with your lower half. Now this position right here, I want to see shoulder, elbow, and back hip all in alignment. Okay, this is called the connection. As you can see, your elbow has gotten ahead of your connection. All right. And generally what happens when, when, when this elbow gets in front of my rib cage or it gets in front of my connection or in front of my back hip, uh, my, my swing path is going to be a little bit more pull oriented. So I need a pitch middle in uh, that, that I can handle and hit through. Again, very difficult to handle pitches uh, on the outer half of the plate or out of third of, outer third of the plate or anything breaking away from us. So. Um, one thing I would try to get you to do is, is just get this, get a little better connection right here. We don't want the elbow in this position. We want this elbow to be able to line up with this back shoulder right here. That back hip. So my elbow should probably be, not probably your elbow should be more in this position instead of forward. Okay. Now as we move forward, 
Okay, from this position, your hands start to work in front of your body, which is good. Our hands have in front of our body. Uh, we want to try to get our hands working in front of this gravity, which is your belt buckle or your belly button. Okay, um, that's working in a good forward position. We're going to go through to contact. I see uh, good strong position right here with your hands, palm up, palm down. That's good. I'd like to see your head down in the hitting zone just a little bit more, looking right down at barrel at contact. Okay. Now as we move forward and we go to the extension phase, one of the things opening up too quick with that front foot and getting that elbow ahead of your connection, one of the things that we're going to see is the extension is already starting to come in and out of the zone. Okay. At this particular point, the ball's just left your bat. I want to see the barrel of that bat and the line of your bat, end of your bat, right here, I want to see it facing the pitcher, okay? This should be the extension path of your bat right here. But because we've opened up a little quickly uh, with our front side, we're starting to, we're starting to work the, bar the barrel of the bat out of the hitting zone just a little bit prematurely, okay? We'll run this forward. You can see your barrel's already finishing out of the zone. And now we get into a good full finish. One thing I do like, Colin, is, is you do finish under balance. Uh, you keep good balance throughout the entire process, uh, th and that's a good thing. That's, that's, uh, that's something that all, not all hitters are able to do, so that's a, that's a big bonus. That's a plus for you. What I would do is to kind of clean up my front, front half is I would just set myself up uh, in a, or on the field, and I would set a tee on the outer half of the plate, uh, just about even with my front foot, maybe just inside, and I'd, I'd just set a T, outer half, outer third, okay. and I would just work on getting to a good down position where my foot was at 45 degree angle. I would check that. I would stop and I would hold that position. Then drive, your, drive my back knee into that front thigh. You do a very good job of that. The next phase is we really want to focus to be able to get to this connected position in this area so that this elbow does not work in front of my connection. Okay? We can see here how it's in front and we've got shoulder and hip in good position right here, but the elbow's worked in front. All of that opening up and then and then um, getting this elbow in front leads to an in and out of the out of the strike zone bat path with uh, the barrel of our bat. So I would just set balls on the tee outer half, outer third, I'd drive, the, I'd, I'd, I'd slow down the entire process, I'd make sure I was in a good position, and then hit through these balls and drive them into the right side of the cage and just feel the extension that you get with your bat. Feel how long your bat is staying through that ball and finishing out towards the right side of the cage. If you can do it on a field, uh, then we're hitting line drives through the second baseman or we're hitting line drives into the right center field gap and just feel the extension, how long your barrel stays through the flight of that ball or stays into right center field, okay? I think this will help you, Colin. Uh, I want to thank you for coming.